Alrighty folks, uh, for those of you that have been with me uh, since the beginning and uh, can't see why there'd be too many of those kind of people, um, you might recognize uh, this box here that we now have set up on the bench. Uh, this was the very first 500 amp motor controller that I built for the E36 and um, I dug it out of uh, mothballs and uh, set it up here on the bench um, with just a pack of uh, six Enersys AGMs uh, just to give me a 72 volt uh, battery and what I want to do what I wanted to do was to basically run uh, our gearbox a little bit more like how it would be ran in a car just to see how it responds etc. Uh, so the controller gives me the ability uh, to use um, <coughs> the E46 Hall Effect throttle pedal here. So with the throttle pedal and with our paddle shift uh, we can pretty much now uh, control motor speed um, and also gear changes so it just gives me the ability to run the thing at a higher RPMs and uh, be able to just vary the speed and see how the shifting reacts um, but it was just interesting to be able to take that old controller it had been uh, basically just boxed up uh, for a good few years just had to uh, connect up the throttle pedal 12 volts throw a switch and uh, away it went so well, we, what we have rigged up on the bench at the minute now is that this uh, power supply is now providing 12 volts <coughs> to the uh, controller and to our gearbox uh, control system as well. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up and we'll do a few runs and uh, see how it be behaves. I have a multimeter here uh, set up reading voltage uh, on the pack which is currently uh, currently at 75.6 volts and I have another meter measuring battery current uh, so we'll be, a, be, be, a, be able to record the power consumption um, in each gear. So I'll basically call those out um, as we run uh, the system. So right, let's give it a uh, let's give it a try and see what we get. So I'm going to just position the camera a little bit better now, just for this. Uh, I'll be back a little bit there and we'll a uh, bit of a tilt up not exactly Cecil B the male here but you know you get what you pay for so uh, let's go ahead and uh, give it a bit of a try so I'm going to probably just sit down here as well so that you're not looking at my back side during the entire affair so right let's turn on the power supply Controller's pre-charging, and there's the main contactor in. Uh, currently we are in neutral uh, on our selector, and we're at about 6 degrees um, oil temperature at the minute. So I'm going to get a meter a little bit better, some illumination working out, oh, there it is, very good. Okay, so in fact, I'd better actually be over this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it up in neutral first of all. Um, so let's see what happens. Okay, oil pump is running. One bit of data I don't have, unfortunately, here is. Uh, RPM, I have to get a tackle set up for that. And now a full throttle. I'm at 92 amps, 
around 52 volts. Current is dropping uh, while the temp is starting to come up. Fortunately, my AGM batteries are completely cracked. Surprise, surprise. 85 amps now. I'm going to heat off. Okay, so let's. Looks like I'm not going to get much, much mileage out of these AGMs. Um, good job of some uh, of something a, li a little bit better on the way from Amsterdam at the minute. Uh, so let's pop it into drive. In fact, let's go into reverse and uh, let's see if we can do a Steve McQueen on this thing. So here we go, reverse. <laughs> See how that's looking? Oh, not too bad. There we go. Give her some gas. 110 amps, 49 volts. Let's take her up to second gear. Second gear. Give her the throttle. 92 amps, uh, 50 volts. Go for third gear. Third gear, power coming on. Oh, we're out of date. There's 85 amps, uh, 50 volts. Third gear. Let's go for fourth. Fourth gear is selected. Power coming on. We're at 107 amps at 48 volts. Let's go for 5th gear, 5th gear, full throttle 5th gear, uh, 92 amps at 48 volts and uh, to say the prop shaft clamp is definitely spinning at a very high rate of knots at this stage. We'll have to get a tackle set up. I suppose, I find it's a cold morning as well. I don't want to preach. Uh, one of the things I don't want to do on this channel is to be negative. Um, but just seeing the voltage drop on that um, AGM pack there, which uh, was fully charged only a couple of days ago. Um, but just seeing that kind of drop at, a, at such a modest uh, current um, just kind of shows you where the, where the problems are um, with lead battery systems, even when they're supposed to be uh, capable of lots of current. Uh, I suppose the voltage side tends to take care of that anyway. So, uh, one of the things I've never done with this particular box is going to pop it into power and actually run it. So let's give that a try. Uh, neutral, reverse, there's power. And we're locked on the flange. So let me just run her up just gently in power here now.
So, let's see. Uh, what else do we need to do here? Let's try. Try drive there. I'm actually, you may have noticed when I was doing the shifts there that I was kind of easing off the throttle a little bit when I was shifting. Uh, it's kind of so I was a little bit concerned about the um, abruptness of some of the shifts. Didn't necessarily want to be doing it with uh, under full load in case there was maybe a bit of overlap in some of the clutch packs coming into play. But let's, uh, I mean, and obviously the plan is here to be a meat shield so that if something does come out through the side of the box that it'll, it will hit me and not damage the foam. So, okay, we're in drive. Uh, in fact, well, let's do all the three things. Let's pretend we're actually, um, let's, let's, let's pretend we're actually semi-professional here, which should be hard. Uh, let's go into neutral. Uh, let's bring her up to a little bit of, of idle. Here, a couple of hundred RPM is enough to uh, bring up the pump. Looking at my head now again, unfortunately. So let's pop into drive. There's drive. So now let's do an upshift at a slightly higher RPM than we did before. There's second. Third, fourth is not the best. Here comes fifth. There's a little bit of a lag in fifth gear, but maximum throttle. Fifth gear. Oh, that thing is turned. Yeah, we're definitely uh, we're cruising now, all right. Up to 15 degrees oil temp. Cheap hose is definitely rock hard right now. Not a good scenario. I'm going to get the red juice. Uh, let's see. No brush arcing, which I wouldn't be really expecting considering it's an interpol mode or anything. Hopefully, see that uh, prop shaft flange is. Doing the, doing the business. The good news is not getting any nasty sounds or anything coming out of the box. It's not trying to throw itself to pieces. It's also very advantageous. Now uh, we're at 80 amps at 48 volts DC at the minute. I've got the throttle, you know, pretty much all the all the way down. Controller is running wide open. 78 amps, current's falling off, up to 21 degrees oil temperature. Plus this stuff never gets old for me, just to see something like this running on the back sheet. And unfortunately guys my battery is starting to crap out so I'm gonna to have to back off here but so uh, I think what I'm gonna to have to do next is when I get my uh, shipment of calp cells in from Mr. Kloppenberg um, they're going to need to be bottom balanced and what better way to uh, do an initial bottom balance on them than to hook them up to this thing and put a brick on the accelerator um, and it'll, it'll, it will kind of serve the dual purpose of helping to test out this system for me as well um, so yeah, like I say, it's a quick update on the Gearbox project, haven't forgotten about it, uh, I've just been tied up with the Land Yachts Differential Dilemmas, uh, 
So stay with us folks and we'll be back for more uh, fun with this system very soon. Thanks for watching.